Ouch. So I'm guessing he's a hard killer. A dog in the front, a dog in the back. Interesting. Hello? Hey kid, it's me. They found me. But perhaps he's on a personal vendetta. Jack, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The dogs are fine. I thought I covered the tracks. You and I were not going to be able to talk again. Remember that I love you. That I'll always love you. I'm on a plane to Morocco tomorrow. What is happening? I want to understand how your world works. Come with me, I'll tell you everything. I'm a rabbit in your this looks like a tough movie and it looks like I'm not going to see any wokeness in this movie which is a good thing and it's going to help with the sales though. I know what started all this. This thing has been buried in the ground for 30 years. I wanted it to stay there. This is not something to underestimate. You know, one thing I have to point out, you know, is that they have to be careful when you put somebody like this who is old, you know, you cannot make him tough like beating up young men, you know, so easily. And if you want to do something like that, you have to come up with an explanation. When it comes to, for example, Chinese movies where you see um, old Chinese guys, you know, with gray hair and, you know, gray beard beating up people the explanation you know even though age has set in the explanation is skill level and med and you know meditation and you know other things that he has done that has given him that edge but you know in this case you have to bring about certain realities you cannot make just like you 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 cannot make a movie with a skinny slim girl you know one, one one skinny white girl beating up you know 20 50 hefty guys that are 300 times her size ish and she's beating up all of them with her fists and with her legs you know it doesn't make sense you know you you have to be realistic when, when you in as much as you know uh, movies and theater is world of make-believe you have to make things believable you know you you can't be crazy with it you know and then create a joke out of the whole thing you know it's like yeah are you mocking the intelligence of those who you know have taken out time to watch the movie so in, in this you know what is the explanation for this guy you know is it that he's that much of a specialist and all these guys are so inferior and when you do that you have to towards the end bring somebody that you match his skill or somebody that will you know really give him a tough time and that is one thing that separates you know good movies from bad movies you know when it comes to the plot line of action movies you can't make an action movie where it is just a breeze for the hero or the main character or the protagonist he's just beating up everybody everything is easy for him you know there has to be an arc you know of difficulty for the hero as you know that's and towards the end you know you have to bring the magnitude of what he's up against has to increase not just the stakes increasing you know per perhaps the stakes could be if towards the end if he does not get something you know the world you will be lost you know perhaps the um the, the whole world will be exploded or perhaps the room there you know the presence will be killed or, or some tragedy or he, his loved one would you know go up in flames easy if he doesn't get a remote of a bomb from a bad guy or something of that nature or if he doesn't do something or stops a launch process that have been set off and, or, and all of that that will trigger the spreading of a virus or whatever you know Perhaps in that in that case, you know, the higher the stakes and the more it involves more people, you know, of course the higher the stakes. But you know, in as much as the stakes should be higher, the difficulty should be higher. You can't make things so easy for the protagonists throughout. So hopefully, you know, towards the end, you know, it won't be this stuff about this old guy beating up all these young people, you know. And and of course, when somebody is old, you know, the certain logic of how he fights has to change. It has to be of less physical um, movements, you know, less exhaustion of energy. 
but thoughtful and intelligent strikes that are more effective than all the running around that the young person has the energy to do. So these things have to be put in place, you know, when um, making a movie and plotting an action movie. What? There's a villain in every story. Nobody ever sees themselves as playing that role. You have no idea what I did, who I was. There's no limit to the damage he'll do or the things he'll destroy. It matters to me what happens to you after this. It matters to me whether you make it. Hopefully, even though he's still, you know, a tough guy, you know, or, uh, or as they would say, bad, badass or whatever, you know, hopefully the logic is that he was even much more dangerous when he was younger. You know, so um, it, it will make sense, especially since the name of the movie is The Old Man, but of course it's like, oh, he's an old man, but he's still like a serious force to be reckoned with, but there has to be some logic, you know, that, you know, puts him to the test and makes him come to grips with the test of, yes, he is an old man and that um, he's not as young as he used to be and cannot um, get away and pull off most of the things that he, he used to be able to pull off. Get out alive. Somebody's got to keep an eye on the world the way he does. Or the game the way he does. What I'm built for is defending things. The way they're defending. So I see that there was that um, uh, um, realization, you know, they put that in cons consideration because we see in that clip where he's tied at the back of the car. You know, so probably he met a villain that, you know, um, really brought him to terms with the fact that he is still an old guy, you know, he's not as young as he used to be. So that that is good. You know, I, I you know, in spite of what I said, you know, I suspected that, you know, they still would go um, do it rightly because, you know, I, ju I just had that feel and apparently they, they did it right. You can't just make it easy for the protagonist from the beginning to the end. <laughs> So he's tired and you can see he's bloodied up and you know he's still f fighting back you know he cuts that and you know uses his feet to perhaps hit the guy at the back of the head or hits out the door or the window or whatever. Okay he hits the guy at the back of the head. All the best things I've done in my life have been in service of that. Okay, and then also a story of, you know, the, his past coming back to haunt him kind of thing, you know, so there, there is much. So the, the trailer was good, you know, and it, it is it's an actual movie that, you know, probably if it does a lot of um, sales, it probably could actually end up as a video game or as a trilogy or, you know, as a franchise, perhaps even um, um, that would be even much more but that being said you know every story is best told from a christian perspective you know and this story would have been best told from a christian perspective and if you would like to be a part of taking over the entertainment landscape with the gospel richard source and alfred of vip will, will be happy to hear from you perhaps you want to start your own entertainment company you know your own video game company we company cartoon studio whatever richard source will be happy to hear from you and help you along the way you know um, that being said, let's say you're a pastor, you know, I want you to know that your choir, you know, that's your music company, your drama department, that's your movie company, you know, get it started, register a separate company that will be a conglomerate, you know, in the name of the church, you know, tell your church, the church board, you know, what you're about to do so that you can ethically do things for the gospel that cannot be ethically done as a non-profit, you know, we have to have, um, our 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 presence known and preach the gospel through movies through entertainment through video games through music you know let the talents in the church not go to the world and end up getting lost in the world and saving the world it's unfortunate that there are a lot of people who are christians who work in hollywood and make all kinds of secular movies and think that 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 is good no you are not fulfilling your god-given destiny god has given you a talent use it for the kingdom you know let these people train train your congregation right let them know that let their talents their gifts they sing let them you know get them involved let them be in the choir let the choir have its own 
um, record label and let the choir have its own albums and also let let people in the choir have their own solo albums you know give their records let them get paid you know get you know on the billboards and you know let them sell records let, let, let them be an outreach of the of the church into the world let them be part of the other the for profit arm of the church you know pushing out to the world and preaching the gospel you know because the gospel is most effectively preached through for profit means you know for example um when you look at um the tv television let's say that christians you know we started our own disney early we started our own you know um like of course you know billy graham on tv and all of that let's say there was emphasis on movies christian movies christian movie channels we will be the ones with the netflix with the disney's with the mgs and all of that if we had started that right from time and imagine the impact and how christian america will be america will be a christian nation that will probably say that it is to today you know but we leave so much for the world to take over which is wrong you know so um that being said we must change this transform your church you know and you know let's say you're an individual that want to start your own entertainment studio you know understand all you have to do is take the first step when you take the first step it will take a second and a third and a fourth those are the steps of faith you know don't bother with saying oh i, I how much money do i have to have i have to have billions upon millions you know don't bother with that take those steps of faith you know start with where you are you know you can start with making tiktoks you know um come up with skits get your friends and family involved get you know strangers you know get you know people in your church involved you know you start with that you from making skits one minute skits you know turns into five minutes um skits ten minutes skits you know to you start your sitcom or get people you know we are making a sitcom a lot of the sitcoms that we watch that are classics we are made in just one room you know if you're a pastor for example your altar you know the even the floor be below the altar you know there is enough space you you just get props a lot of the sitcoms you know the fresh prince of bel-air you know the f um family matters all those a lot of those those were on stage you know stages a lot of stages that are smaller than a lot of congregations you know the, the space that churches have you utilize that for the gospel utilize that to, to reach people you know you can easily start your youtube channel you know have this um the the stuff that is reenacted by the drama department whatever series you know they are doing register these things you know get these things out produced you know you know at the end of each show you tell people about the church you know invite people to at the church and perhaps even as part of the church service just like the square administration there can be short dramas acted in the church as part of the service you know so whatever will make the people come let them hear the gospel let them listen to the gospel and let them um walk with christ let us depopulate hell and populate heaven thank you and god bless you Say this prayer audibly if you have not given your heart to Jesus Christ. Dear God, I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came, died, and was raised from the dead to save me. I confess Him, Lord, over my life and ask you to give me your Holy Spirit to live within me. I receive your Spirit by faith and thank you for I am now born again. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you just prayed that prayer, congratulations. You are now a Christian. Go to alfred.vip and click the salvation prayer link in the main menu to get resources that will help you with your work with God. God bless you.